Hey, what's up guys? It's Elijah Fletcher with the Fletcher Real Estate Team. And I just wanted to take a quick second to bust a myth out there that's been driving me crazy. Um, I've been seeing this like a lot and maybe it's just because my feed is all like real estate stuff and puppies, but um, I just wanted y'all to know that it's a little bit of pie in the sky going around. Um, there's this thing, okay, uh, the last couple of years, we have saw property values go way, 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 way up. And now interest rates are way up and it's kind of like a doomsday scenario. Um, it's making it really hard for people to afford to live here. And one of the solutions is uh, to assume a loan, okay? And, and people are like, oh, you know, I'd save like thousands of dollars a month and hundreds of thousands of dollars over the course of the uh, home ownership. You just assume the loan from the previous owner. All right, look, it is possible to do that, but it's like one in a hundred, one in a thousand. Um, I posted some of the reasons below, uh, but the main one is just, it's, it, it, you have to bridge the gap with cash. So if, you know, you're having a hard time buying a home in the first place and you're like, oh, well, if I assume a loan, it makes my payments easier well it's because you have to put like hundreds of thousands of dollars towards it in order to assume that loan um so i also have some reasons that it could work um it is possible but uh yeah like uh i would have a different strategy a different go-to strategy um in order to be successful that's probably not the one that you're gonna rely on it's like a long shot like TCU versus Georgia, long shot. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.